ladies, so we have an awesome construction update for you guys today. I think this one's more on uh, Frontier Canada than it is Yukon, but we have some exciting news about Yukon. So as you can see, Yukon Strikers train is loaded with water dummies in the station, um, and that could only mean one thing. Well, it isn't going to test uh, today, tomorrow, during the rain, but... I'm almost a betting man that it's probably going to test next week with the warm weather and sunny days. Next week would be optimal for testing. So here are some super zoomed in shots of the train with water dummies. You can actually see the train in the storage shed as well loaded with water dummies. Um, and you can see that dive coaster rail or gate um, as you leave the station. That's all ready to go. And there is an op panel being um, and booth being constructed on the right side of the track. It is super hard to see in this photo. Um, but uh, they're definitely getting very ready to start testing. So um, we'll be flying every day we can fly. If there's rain, we won't be able to fly. If it's too windy, we won't be able to fly. Um, but we'll be flying every day we can possibly can to try and catch um, the testing, trust me. And luckily, we have a person on our team with a drone that lives right next to the park and can see if there's testing and quickly run over and grab footage. So this is going to be super awesome. We will have testing footage for you. I promise we will do everything in our power. I am in the States next week. That's what's unfortunate. So I will be at Dollywood on Thursday um, and Friday. Uh, sorry, I'll be at Dollywood on Thursday and I'll be at Carowinds Friday and Saturday. Um, and I have a feeling I'm going to miss testing and that hurts a lot. Um, that really does hurt. Um, I'm hoping they tested on Monday, Tuesday and I'm still here. Um, so I'll be at the park on Monday, Tuesday. Well, not at the park, outside the park, flying my drone, hopefully catching the testing of Yukon Striker because I would love to see this before I go, but I'm rambling. Shut up, Brendan. Let's get right to the video. So, um, outside of that, there is a lot of digging in the front of Yukon Striker's station area. There's lots of digging over in what I can only assume is Frontier Canada. I'll show you that in a second, but right here in Orbiter, you can see them constructing that path, that new path that's replacing Orbiter. Um, so they're going to be connecting the Behemoth Midway to the Yukon Striker Midway. And uh, to be honest, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. For being able to quickly hop from one B&M to the other, um, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, so lots of work going on there. Uh, digging up a lot of land. There's, um, I'm trying to think of what else is going on on Yukon Striker. Again, this is mainly a Frontier Canada update. But over in the Kingswood area, they are still digging up land. Um, I'm not able to make out what they're actually fully doing again. So I do want to let you know any information on the Kingswood area, please take with a grain of salt as I can't make out exactly what they're doing. But again, my guess would be if anything's going to happen there, it's either going to be a permanent haunt structure or it's going to be a restaurant. Um, I know those are wild guesses. The second one a little more wild than the first one, but uh, I would assume that Cedar Fair is looking for permanent haunt structures as uh, they can leave the haunt decor up through the season and it relieves a lot of that setup time that they have um, starting in like uh, August or July whenever they start sending it for Halloween Haunt. But over by the vertical loop and the second Immelman, um, you can see that they are digging up the entire brickwork. Lots of work going on over there. If you're looking at the video carefully, you can actually see them digging holes um, around Yukon Striker as well. There's just a ton of work going on over there. I can't wait to see what this area looks like. You can tell they're re-retrofitting the entire Frontier Canada area. They just put in new brickwork last season and it's already ripped up. So it'll be super cool to see what's going on with Frontier Canada and their plans. I can't fully make out anything, but it looks like a wood structure is also going up behind the second Immelman. Um, but again, we're flying from a drone really far away from the park. We're super zoomed in, so it looks like we're closer than we are. It is hard to make out what they're doing in this footage, but that is just a guess. So again, anything we say in our drone footage videos is predictions. We have no inside information on Frontier Canada. Um, I wish we did, but we don't. Um, but yeah, super exciting. And um, the from the last video, the station work has not changed. As you can see, there is a yellow dye on it. Um, from what I'm hearing, that's actually a wood cure. Um, from what my team was researching, it helps like uh, make the wood stronger. Um, and then they'll actually stain the wood is from what I'm guessing. So the wood should be stained, uh, which is a little bit of a relief. I wasn't a fan of the color. I was hoping for something darker. Um, but again, that is a prediction as well. 
Um, other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else Yukon Striker related around uh, the queue lines being built. You can actually see some cement block down there underneath the brake run. If you look closely, you'll see that whiter um, gray color, uh, whitish gray color underneath the brake run. That looks like it's cement. Um, and yeah, that's all that is Yukon Striker related. If you keep looking around, you'll see them working around. So I thought I would uh, leave in all the clips, by the way. So when I go flying, I grab about 15 minutes of footage, 15 to 20 minutes of footage. So I've edited it down to 10 minutes for you guys, just showing like the work and the, the machinery moving around, them digging. So you guys get a better idea of what they're doing instead of my um, quick videos. So if you guys feel like you want to stick around, and watch the construction crew working feel free. But this is it for the update on Yukon Striker. I really appreciate you guys coming and watching these updates all the time. They will be more regular now. So with us flying, trying to catch drone footage and Frontier Canada construction moving rapidly, we are gonna start documenting uh, Frontier Canada construction as it looks like it's a lot bigger than we originally thought. There's a lot more work going on. There's crews everywhere if you're watching this footage closely. Um, so stay tuned for all that. We flew today as well. Um, so I'm waiting for the footage to be sent to me and I'll analyze it for a tomorrow video um, and see if it's worth it. If there's nothing too much to report on, I won't release the video, um, but I'm waiting for the footage to see what's going on. I'm hearing there is a crane in the station area, so we'll see what's going on. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.